What a difference a day makes, eh? Look at this. Well hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Biking Buddies the Motor Vlog and we're out on take two. This is uh, take two of the video that never was so if you watched the last upload then thank you very much. Um, what a difference a day makes. We've got absolutely idyllic weather today um, so hopefully fingers crossed we will get that astronomical footage that the beautiful North Yorkshire mowers afford. And we'll see what is on the opposite side. That was quite deep. So as always in fine biking buddies fashion, grab yourself a brew, grab yourself a beer, strap yourselves in and come with me on this week's Biking Buddies Upload. Let's QVT. Where do you go when you're young, when you're restless, when you're fun, cause you're desperate. Okay, so that is the titles out the way as you have seen now Yes, what a difference a day makes metaphorically speaking So we are going to uh, do the ride that I abandoned last time because of uh, just the fog and the absolute lack of view So as I plug my way up this hill Let's bang the drone in the air and let's just have a quick look around To show you exactly where we are and what we're likely to encounter so we're located on the northwest shoulder of the National Park today. We're going to be doing a clockwise route round, heading east, dipping south, and then ultimately coming back up north again, pretty much to start, or finish rather, where we started from. It's an absolutely beautiful day, as you can see. And looking at the drone footage there, what a spectacle we're going to get. Hopefully the weather's going to hold. As we go through, we are sunny spells and cloud, but at the moment we are bathed in sunshine and taking all of it. Thank you very much. Active track, parallel, go. Start recording. Hopefully, we'll work. Fingers crossed. So this is on that tiny little link road that we saw last time in the thick fog and the murk. Completely different today when you look around us, both from lid cam and drone cam there. We have got very clear days indeed today. Lots and lots of sun and lots of warmth to boot, which is absolutely fantastic as well. So we're just gonna try a little bit of this active tracking out and see, uh, see how it is that we get on. Hopefully we'll be okay. And fingers crossed we don't hit anything because we've got it in sport mode now so collision avoidance it's disabled yes we're gonna get some fantastic views over the tops today and that is very much the flavor of the ride is a day of uh, buzzing ourselves across the tops I am very very much looking forward to this ride have been doing so for a long time even on the last one when we came out where the weather just was completely against us but today as you can see the weather gods are smiling So this little link trail as we've seen before this leaked us across to Danby Beacon and what I wanted to see at Danby Beacon given that we've got a nice clear day with lots of high cloud is that Danby Beacon used to be an RAF an RAF base a radio base back in uh, World War II so I think it was established in the early early 40s I believe it was and uh, it was decommissioned pretty much after the war efforts had finished but you can apparently, allegedly, see quite a few remnants or footprints in the ground 
of where that uh, radio station was. So I cannot believe how different the days in the making of these videos have been. The first one, it was very cold. The mist was shrouded right in as we saw. Couldn't actually see a thing, which is why I aborted the ride. Little point in uh, filming basically just a grey scale for you guys. But today, yes, it is, uh, it's incredible. It's, it's warm. I've uh, ditched the uh, heavy rainproof jacket in favour of lighter attire, which is nice. We're on summer gloves. And it's nice just to be able to feel that bodily movement again. Whereas uh, most of the winter we've been riding pretty much kind of hatches battened down, thick gloves, thick clothing. And it's great to get out in the winter time, but it's also great just to shed a few layers and feel uh, a little bit of movement. Hopefully that'll wash the camera off. So I can see the beacon already right over there on the distant horizon. And that's ultimately where we're going to get the drone up in the air and have another look around. It's fantastic being able to bring the drone with me. And it's even better being able to share that uh, with you guys, the loyal viewers. Absolutely amazing. Right, let's demontage these cameras. Here looks good. Here looks very good indeed. How are we looking? A little bit dirty and a little bit water splash, but we should be okay. So here we are on the approaches to the beacon on the little single track road. And as I mentioned in the last videos, I do include some of these road sections because I think they're absolutely fantastic. And in the UK, particularly here in the Northeast, you can't trail ride without having the road sections that link the trails together. So hey ho, Danby Beacon. The RAF radio station, incidentally, is across to my left hand side. And I'm guessing that's what some of these embankments um, and footings and things uh, are like. Danby Beacon is an absolutely fantastic place such elevation as we can see and when we just uh, get pulled up off the top here as you'll see from the drone footage the views are just incredible have a quick look around the beacon itself the views just stretching off in all directions 360 degrees it is an absolutely incredible place and it's also incidentally a very good place to come and catch the sunrise look at that absolutely fantastic what a beautiful place. Anyway, on with the proceedings. So we're on uh, this nice little link trail now that just takes us from the beacon down towards Lealholm. And uh, my plan is to uh, go over Glazeal Rig. I've not been up that way for a while. Morning. Morning, folks. I certainly haven't been over that way for a while and uh, I'll be quite intrigued to uh, get myself back on that track. So what is interesting is uh, just looking at the long range forecast there on the weekend gone. It was very interesting to see how much rainfall the UK has had through March so far given that uh, to date we're about halfway through the month. Rapidly approaching Easter and rapidly approaching uh, British summertime. And yes what was interesting is you can certainly see from this trail in front of me here that uh, it is rather dry. Not bone dry, bone dry, but it certainly is dry. There are areas across to our west up into uh, the Yorkshire Dills, for example, that have been completely deluged with water. And hearts certainly go out to some of the residents and the farmers, etc. in those areas, really struggling with the volumes of rain that they've had of late. And particularly in the south of England as well, that has been uh, quite a wet area by comparison to uh, the northeast where we are riding today. Man, that said, I've just gone through an astronomically deep puddle. Oh my life, what an absolutely fantastic view that we've got. Look at this. I mean, you can't help but flick the camera on just to share this incredible view with you. As I've always maintained through these uh, videos that I do, I do include the road sections because for me, I think the road sections are uh, arguably just as enjoyable as the trail sections and without the road sections we wouldn't be able to link the trails together as well so it's worthy that we embrace them and we enjoy them rather than seeing them as a hindrance and when you're making descents like this down into these quaint little villages deep into the Esk Valley 
I mean, how could you not enjoy road sections like this? Absolutely fantastic. What a day, folks. What a day. And this is the beautiful Glazedale Rig. It's got a nice little dip, a nice little dell, as it were, just on the start of the trail, or certainly when uh, I'm starting from the point that I am. And this is a really nice little lunch stop, to be fair. I'm a bit early for lunch today, but it's nice because you're out the breeze. It's a nice little sun trap. But as I say, I'm a little bit early for lunch today, so we're going to push on high up onto the moor top. And the thing that I like about Glazeal Rig is just, uh, I guess it's akin to, it's really akin to like Rudland Rig in a lot of ways, that uh, it's, it's very open, it's very upland. And the flavour of this video is very much the uh, upland plateaus of the North Yorkshire Moors National Park. That is the video that I set out to film last time, I just failed miserably. And the reason that I did pause the video is exactly for what you're looking at now. Just these fantastic, spectacular, panoramic views that we've got. Obviously we wouldn't have seen hiding a hair of that in the last video. It would have just been a screen of grayscale fog and murk. Brilliant to have the sun behind me there, not in my face, not dazzling me on this nice little steady descent down into Fry Up Dill. I am getting quite hungry now, I must admit. So I will be uh, eyeing up a lunchtime spot sooner or later. Not going to go to the cycle hub today, I am travelling independent. So fully self sufficient in my um, vittles. So I'll find a nice little sunny spot off the side of a trail somewhere somewhere out the breeze and I can just enjoy this absolutely gorgeous weather that we've got we're up into the teens at the moment temperature wise mindful of this livestock yeah we're up into the teens temperature wise so it is uh, very very pleasant indeed I'm so glad that I didn't push the issue with that last video and I actually aborted it because the uh, basically the route that I'm doing or that I was doing is the route that I'm presently doing today so you can certainly see by the colors and the spring feel to everything the views that were afforded down these valleys and across the moor tops it was definitely the right call to build that ride without shadow of a doubt and it's most definitely the right call to come out today and uh, replicate the ride and get the image capture that I didn't get the last time round got to take it very steady past the livestock always take it steady past the livestock particularly this time of year because we know that uh, all of the ewes are heavy with lambs and we don't want to go startling the livestock so there could be uh, potentially shedding those lambs causing issues well that is post lunch now very very welcome stop i was uh, desperately needing that certainly uh, good to keep the blood sugar levels up and those fluids up as well so whereabouts am I is the loud cry? Well, quite simply, I'm now making the transition across from uh, the central part of the National Park and I'm pretty much heading west towards uh, the western edge where I'll be hanging a right and ultimately picking up the rig and uh, coming back over Rudland Rig as uh, a familiar, very well-travelled trail. Now what's interesting about this track that I'm on at the moment is there is a water crossing at the bottom of which I'm no big fan of, it has to be said. Um, so I will be taking the footbridge. However, next weekend's ride, which will be the next video that you're watching, um, is a TRF uh, monthly social ride. And I'm not going to lead that ride this time. I've opted to uh, join the pack, as it were. And uh, good friend Leo, he will be uh, leading the ride. And I do believe that Leo is quite fond on the water crossing or two. 
the route is the National Park, the North Yorkshire Moors National Park, so um, I wouldn't be uh, wholly surprised if this water crossing that we've got down to our left does feature on that. So uh, let's just see how we get on, how brave I'm feeling at that time, whether I actually do the crossings or not. I'm not a fan of them, but uh, yeah, it is one of those nemesis things that I do need to uh, embrace at some point. And what better way to do it than with the TRF, knowing that there's uh, many helping hands should you need them. Certainly wouldn't try it today when I'm flying solo, trying to pick the bike up knee deep in water is not going to be uh, much fun at all. So let's see what happens next weekend on the next video upload. So this is we transitioning across to the west side of the National Park, now I'm on the southwest corner as it were. Absolutely beautiful days you've seen all the way through. And uh, yeah, these dappled shade elements, just uh, absolutely fantastic. You couldn't really ask for better conditions to be riding in. Mid-teens is the temperature, so it's warm enough to be warm, but not too warm that uh, you're yeah, absolutely baking hot. And look at the weather that we've got. <laughs> complete chalk and cheese to what we had the last time I was out. Just a completely different, different time of year is what it feels like. But it isn't. It's very, very close in indeed to the latter time where I abandoned the ride. And very much part of that transition is Gillamore Backlane and that's what I'm looking for now. I am here. We have arrived as it were. Gillamore Backlane is just a nice little lane that links the uh, central part of the National Park, the North Yorkshire Moors central part across to the western edge and enables us to pick up that south part of uh, Rudland Rig. It's a fairly inauspicious trail, it's used quite a lot for uh, estate access as you can see with all of the log work that's going on. So uh, some of the wetter sections you've got to be a little bit mindful of because they can be quite deep and uh, certainly can pull you, uh, pull you in all manner of direction. But it's a very pleasant lane and uh, certainly beats jumping down onto the main arterial road to uh, join west and south together as it were. And speaking of transitions, this is the transitional point on the south end of Rudland Rig where we transition ourselves from uh, south to north, the longest single unbroken green lane in the UK I do believe. And there's a fellow biker there, no idea who he is but we'll give him a little bit of a wave as we go past. How you doing alright? Pretty good. You out on your own? Uh, no, we've got Dad just trying out our bikes and our best next turn. Ah, uh, right, okay. Are you going that way or that way? Uh, he's just coming on his way back here, surely. Yeah, you're uh, heading off, haven't you? I'm heading that way, yeah. Have fun. Should be great. Excellent. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Nice chap. Okay, yes, yeah, so that is the uh, transitional point onto Rudland Rig. So we'll get ourselves away over the top and there's a few more trails to come after this one which I do thoroughly enjoy. One of them incidentally was blighted by fly tipping the last time I was there with the trail completely blocked off. So that was reported duly through the North Yorkshire TRF to uh, the relevant parties. Very very disappointing to see but hopefully that's uh, been cleared away. I would imagine it would have been by now, it's certainly been uh, a good few weeks. So that chap said that uh, his dad was coming down, so we've got to keep an eye out for him. Just very mindful where this old boy is. Hopefully he's okay. Right, we're gonna find out sooner or later, I guess. There's the old boy. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha.
mind it doesn't matter whether you're riding single you're riding in a group coming off the top of the rig there it is just absolutely fantastic you've got to embrace that view just as much as embracing the trail itself and whilst we know that the trail isn't particularly demanding as such the views that it affords you when you start to crest over the top and you just start to open up the Tees Valley in front of you are just absolutely incredible this split here really marks the uh, descent of the green lane down to uh, Bankfoot Farm at the bottom it's always a good descent you've got to be careful of these uh, little drainage humps to be fair they do have a tendency to launch the back of the bike up so you can't be retarded in the throttle too much coming off those that is for sure but the view really that's what we're looking at here just the whole of the Tees Valley all the way up to the northern Pennines and right across to the Yorkshire Dills uh, heading across to our west just absolutely fantastic and the sense of elevation that you feel I know I've said this countless times coming up here but you never ever get tired of this view no matter how many times that you make this descent if you have the opportunity to do so I would always recommend doing it after lunch because the sun is behind you and it illuminates the Tees Valley in front of you as you're making the descent down. Fantastic! Engelby Greenhouse. So this is the final little trail that I'm going to do. This is the one that was blighted by fly tipping the last time that I came down here. Which was about a month ago incidentally so uh, I am hopeful that uh, the reporting process that we went through as the North Yorkshire TRF has uh, done its dutiful thing and the local authority have been out and cleaned the rubbish very disappointing to see it there in the first place so it's a fairly inauspicious little trail this one there's a bit of a water splash to go through and then a climb and really that's where the uh, where the fly tipping incident was a very short lane but it is a pleasant one on a day like today nice spring day lots of daffodils and just the weather, I uh, know I've gone on about it all the way through this video but uh, given that I aborted the last ride the weather that we've had has been fantastic so here we are, we'll get through here and we'll see what is on the opposite side that was quite deep so it was just at the top of here where that fly tipping mess was and fantastic it's all gone this is where it was what a mess to see it there but it's really good that it's gone okay then guys so if you have stuck with me to the end then thank you very much for your company as always if you haven't done so already then please hit that subscribe button and do by all means leave a comment I do my level best to answer every comment both positive and negative the final thing as I close this lane out then as always guys wherever you are in the world whatever you're doing enjoy your ride keep it safe keep it shiny side up and we will catch you for the next one cheers folks bye now bye okay let's get the cameras demontaged what sort of uh, dirt levels have we got actually that's doable